what's up guys I just wanted to make a quick video about this I've got been getting some codes on this guy got a couple codes it was the EGR code here it was P1249 and P2 Four A five, and one of those codes basically is the code for uh, the EGR cooler, and the uh, service steps that you're supposed to take on this thing is to check to see if this uh, EGR cooler bypass actuator is what this thing is called is working. When the engine is off, it should be extended, just like that. And I'm going to show you how that works, how it looks. You should be able to see that. Alright, let's start the engine. shut down the vehicle see it's still everything's turning itself off or whatnot if this is functioning properly it should retract itself no problem it's just ran off a of vacuum I'll show you what is the solution to this problem there you go so that's the normal function of it there if if you turn the engine on and that thing is still uh, retracted like that, then your vacuum hose is the issue. This is the raggedy, no good, no count piece of crap that they uh, attach to your stuff here. It goes from here and it goes to there. This hose, vacuum hose, is so brittle and crappy that it just breaks, no problem. But if you just replace it with a standard vacuum hose, it's going to solve all your issues. Super simple. Cleared the codes, and hopefully these codes don't come back. I'm pretty sure that solved the issue. This thing's been doing that for I don't know how long. And everywhere I looked online, it's telling me it's the EGR cooler that I need to take, take that thing apart and clean it out or replace it when honestly I believe this has been my problem the whole time so God help me when this little vacuum line breaks because I don't even know where that thing leads to but that's the solution right there guys check this to make sure it's got vacuum coming from here if you got vacuum coming from here and this thing is not working then this hose needs to be replaced to make sure it's not brittle and cracked if this thing does have vacuum it could be this solenoid that's uh, giving you an issue but that's all I wanted to show stupid hose I'll show you how easy this shit breaks too like it has this sh plastic sheathing on there and you pull the sheathing off there and it's brittle too it's crap you can see that this hose is just trash as soon as you get it look oh no broke it oh no broke it further down the line oh no oh no so everything is crap this is just crap regular simple hose that's tried and true proven technology let's just use this what's needed not overthink it with these little stupid adapters and what is all this crap i don't get it that's all we need thanks guys have a good day